Hello, this is Josh Meyer, superintendent of the Boquette Valley Central School District with an update for you today, April 14th, 2020. As you're aware, uh, Governor Cuomo has closed us through April 29th with the current decision that would have us coming back on April the 30th. The governor is working on a collaborative plan with other states on a reopening procedure. Um, again, the governor did say that there was potential to close for an additional two weeks, uh, and he would continue that, those closures and, as two weeks at a time. We have a, another food service delivery going out tomorrow on Wednesday, April 15th. A uh, reminder that if you do want milk, have a cooler available or have a sign uh, available stating that you do want milk. And if you do have a particularly long driveway, one that is difficult for a bus to get up and down, uh, if you could have a bin at the end of your driveway so we can put the food into that bin, that makes it much easier on our drivers and on the people delivering the food from the bus. Uh, our next delivery is scheduled for Wednesday, April 22nd. So we would have April 15th and then Wednesday the 22nd. Uh, and then hopefully by then uh, we know what the plan is as far as uh, reopening if we would be back on the 20 or if we would be coming back on the 30th or if um, we would the extension would go further but we will continue to update you on the food service uh, deliveries as those dates become uh, closer. At home instruction touched on this a little bit last week uh, work will be assigned and graded during this uh, closure period. Uh, the expectation is that you communicate with your classroom teacher and with the building principals. Uh, as a reminder, West Elcom um, has drive up internet service in Elizabethtown at the social center and in Westport in the downtown area, uh, specifically coming out of the Jams um, coffee shop building. Now, we, this is something new here, uh, a hard copy work collection. There are several people that have, do not have internet access uh, where they live or have difficulty with technology or for some reason haven't been able to do online assignments. I know this is true for our very young grades like K-1 uh, and some of our second grade classrooms um, as well as uh, just some, uh, some students in other class uh, grade levels as well. Uh, we are going to make available uh, a hard copy work collection bin for those students who cannot submit electronically. This will be available Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Mountain View campus. There will literally just be a bin out in front um, of that campus. You can put particular work, put work in bins for particular teachers and we will take it from there. We have our own decontamination procedure for that work, so it will not be graded immediately. Uh, but it will take some time uh, for that work uh, to get to the teacher. But uh, in the meantime, th that is our plan for those of you that are doing hard copy work. A couple academic reminders for you. Uh, school tool is still available for students uh, to check their grades. Uh, our report cards are scheduled to go out uh, next week. We are still working on a procedure for that, what that will look like and we will update you on that. Uh, I've talked a lot about testing. We know uh, AP uh, courses, the procedure for that will be tested at home. Bridge courses as for the classroom teacher was something new that happened last week. Uh, the Regents exams have been canceled. There are specific information, documents uh, from the State Education Department available on our website and particular uh, procedures as to how we will be handling that uh, on our campus uh, and, and again, questions, you can talk to your classroom teacher or you can talk to uh, your building principal. Uh, Mrs. Dixon Cross should be able to answer some of those questions for you as well. Update on our budget meeting. Uh, so April 23rd, we have a regular Board of Education meeting. This will be available through a webcast through a WebEx. Uh, the link will be available on the website. On the next few days here, it should be available. Uh, for that meeting. There is also a phone in number. So those of you that would like to attend the meeting, but uh, don't have internet access, you can also dial in uh, to that meeting and listen. 
That is a six o'clock start time for that meeting. And I did want to clarify, typically we have been doing executive sessions at the beginning of the meeting and the actual business part of the meeting wasn't happening until about seven o'clock or so. That's, that's going to be different. Uh, we're going to do the executive session at the end of the meeting. So the meeting will start uh, right around six o'clock uh, and then the executive session will be at the very end of the meeting. So uh, that, that is something a little bit different from a procedural standpoint. Events, Griffin's Got Talent, Workout of the Day, uh, STEM Challenges, those are all things that we've discussed here already. Uh, March Madness Round 3 is open through the library newsletter, so check all those out if you haven't been doing that already. And something else that's new, uh, Mr. Payne, our guidance counselor, he is a resource for people looking for employment. Believe it or not, now there are some organizations that are looking for employees. Uh, and Mr. Payne, he is one of our resources uh, to work with families. And so if you have questions about that, you can email him at uh, the email address on the screen, dpayne at boquettevalleycsd.org. His information is also available on our website. Uh, lastly, a reminder, uh, stay safe, isolate as best you can, take care of yourself. Contact the school if you need support. You can contact the building principal via email if you need technology, uh, meals, questions about remote instruction, emotional support, or anything else. Uh, one comment on technology, we have had significant requests for Chromebooks. Uh, prior to all of this starting, uh, we had ordered uh, an additional batch of Chromebooks. Uh, so we are hoping that those do arrive soon and we'll get those deployed as soon as they are ready uh, to be deployed. Um, other than that, I will be in touch next week. Thank you. Have a good day.